Hi everyone, Tom Larson here with Tech Training for Teachers. In today's video, we're going to show you how to embed questions into your video tutorials using some brand new tools made available by Screencastify. Let's get started. You're going to need to have the Screencastify Chrome plugin already installed. I'll provide a link to this in the video description. Here it is in my Google Chrome. I'll go ahead and click the icon and then from here, choose the menu and then I'll go straight to my recordings. This is a video I recorded a little bit earlier in Screencastify. So here it is. I'll go ahead and choose it. This is a little lesson I did on Google Drawings showing folks how to create an image mask. Let me test the video and make sure it's going to play back OK. Click on your toolbar and we're going to choose the sounds good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add some questions to it now. So on the right hand side, look for the interactive questions button right underneath the ad label. So we'll click that. You navigate to the point in the video where you'd like to insert the question. Okay, so I have three points in my videos that I'm going to strategically place. I have these times already noted so I'm going to go ahead and scroll to those points and then add the questions. So the first one I have is at the 18 second mark. So let me go ahead and drag my slider over here to the 18 second marker. There we go. Now at this point I want to add my question. So I'll click add question at 18 seconds into the video. We type in our question. Once you have the question entered, and it took me a little longer because I had some spelling errors, it's time to go ahead and add your answer choices. So I'll do that next. This is a simple true false question. So I've entered my answer choices true and false and now I'll select the correct response. Okay, at this point we'll click save and we'll move on to the next question. Okay, at this point my three question quiz is finished. What I'll do next is I'll click the share icon here and I can choose copy the watch page link or I can share it directly to Classroom. Uh, so whatever option works best for you. I'll go ahead at this point and I'll just click copy the watch page link. This will put it on the clipboard and I'll switch over to another Chrome profile, one of my uh, students I've created. Here we are. And I'll paste in that URL. If the student has not used Screencastify before, and they're taken here for the first time, they'll need to go ahead and connect Screencastify with their Google account. It's very simple. They just click the little Google icon and that connection is made. Once that happens, they're able to see the video. So here they are. So I'll pretend I am this student and we'll, we'll watch the video. Okay, so you can see now that I have a question appear on the screen. This is directly related to the content the student just viewed. So the question asks, the image mask should cover the entire canvas area, true or false? I watched the video and I paid attention, so I know the answer is true. I'll click Submit. Looks like I got it correct. We'll click then the Continue button. Okay, here's my next question. The color gradient colors should be set to black and I got distracted uh, while watching this video, so I'm not really sure. I'm going to say white and submit. Oh, that was incorrect. Uh, it does show me the correct response here in green. All right, so I'll move on to the next question. Uh, finally, my last question. I was paying attention this time, so I know that the question, which keyboard shortcut will not remove an object from your drawing? The response there that we want is option D. I'll click Submit. And I can see that is correct. Continue, and I can finish watching the video. So that's all the student needs to do at this point. On the teacher side, I'll switch back over here. Uh, you'll see that there's already a response. So if that teacher clicks here on responses, they can see that Bessie Briggs uh, has completed the quiz, uh, answered all the questions, uh, and received a score of 66. You can also break down your uh, quizzes by students and questions. These options will be visible in the very near future. 
Hope this video tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via email, tom at techtrainingforteachers.com, or post a question in the comments area. If you enjoy watching videos like this, be sure to subscribe, and also click the notification icon so you know the moment new content is posted.